Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with some packs to open and some pickups to go over. Uh, this stack here is some conspiracy cards that are the not crazy expensive foils like the Planeswalkers or Lee of Old or you know, just other legacy type stuff. But uh, let's go over them real quick. Got the Collar of the Untamed, pretty sweet little four drop that you can uh, reveal a creature card from your deck or from your draft that's not in your deck. So something off color or just something you don't want in your deck. Uh, but you can pay X and tap it and just put a token of it into play. If it dies, if it's legendary, put another one. Or you can just, if it's not legendary, you can just do one every turn. As long as this doesn't die. Pretty sweet. Archdemon of Paliano. 5-4 uh, four flyer for four. Sign me up. The drawback is your next three draft picks. Have you take this guy or random? So later in the pack, it gets better. You know, obviously don't want it your next last or last pick because then a bunch of your picks from the next pack are random. But sometimes you can mess up the people in your draft by passing it. So that, that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, going to try that one out as well. Regicide, um, going to be one black mana instant. Kill a creature that is one or more of these three colors. Pretty good. So it's much better than Death Mark, and that card has seen play a lot. Uh, it'd be cool if you could have multiples, but I don't do that in my cube. So anyway, Stunt Double, uh, Strictly Upgraded Clone. Uh, it has Flash. It's only one blue to cast. And it's got sweet art. That art is just really good. So, uh, Borderland Explorer, it's a 3 1 for 2 elf. All good things. But it also can let any player, not just you, but you discard a card to search up a basic of your choice, put it in your hand. Uh, if you're an animator deck, it's just a discard outlet. Get that fatty in the yard, whatever. Uh, flashback card, whatever. It could be a land you don't need. Just get the basic you do. Good stuff. Uh, Illusion of Choice. Um, really goes good if you have a uh, council of judgment or obviously another voting card, but at worst, it's just blue cycle instant speed. Uh, might add some more vote cards just to spice it up a bit. Uh, custody soul caller uh, has melee, so it attacks as a two, three, unless you have multiplayer games, which we do occasionally. Uh, if it's attacking as a two, three, then you get to put a one drop from your graveyard onto the battlefield. So it's really good in a white weenie deck or, you know, white X weenie deck. Uh, Arcane Savant, everybody thought this card was amazing when they saw it, and they're probably right. You could say draft a Cruel Ultimatum, and yeah, just every time you play this guy, you get to Cruel Ultimatum somebody. And it's when he enters the battlefield, so if you can blink him, more fun. It could be something just, I don't know, something crazy like just an off-color sweet spell. Say you're not green, you've got uh, Tooth and Nail. Go get two creatures. Put two creatures from your hand and play. You get to pick the mode, but I don't think you get to entwine it. So there's that. Uh, Illusionary Informant, pretty vanilla ish creature, two mana, one three flyer, but then we get the information. Uh, I was trying to put more draft matters cards in, and this is one of those. So go try it out. Might get cut because blue's really good. But uh, okay, Spectral Grasp. Once again, much better multiplayer because it's uh, basically a pacifism, but just for attacking you. Like. It can't attack a Planeswalker or you, and it can't block creatures you control. But if you're playing multiplayer, it gets better. If it's heads up, it's just pacifism, which is not bad. And the art's sweet, because Kai is just really messing that guy's day up. Like, no, you can't get me. So. Volatile Chimera, this is one of the ones I'm really excited for. You get to exile uh, three or more creature cards you drafted that aren't in your deck. And then for two mana, once this guy comes out, you choose one of those at random, and it becomes a copy of that card and retains this ability. That's just crazy. So if you exile Progenitus and then get this guy out and then pay two mana, like, it's Progenitus. It's got, it's a 10-10 with protection from everything. That's insane. So, yeah, should be some fun times with this card. It's just a 3-2 for 3, which isn't the worst anyway. But, yeah, just having that, just draft a bunch of off-color bomb creatures, getting to turn this into it, seems fun. Uh, Leovolt Operative, another one of those, like, Kind of messed with the draft cards. It's a 3-2 for 3, which, once again, not bad. Rogue, great. Uh, but you may, after you draft it face up, uh, next time you get a pack, if you see two cards you want, you turn it face down and you take two cards out of that pack. Uh, and then the next pack, you don't take a card from it, although you may look at it. So, anyway. Uh, real quick, going to open up these packs. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of happy about those. I'd like to be able to get a cube draft in soon. So, yeah. Want to see how those work out. Definitely get played in GP Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Be fun. Uh, Illusion Informant. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. What is the best draft card? 
feel bad about opening these without drafting them, but at least I'm, you know, talking about them on stream. Flame Slash, not bad. Uh, Besmirch, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, take Control Effect. Carnage Gladiator, Dread Sanctuary, and Keeper of the Keys. Yeah, pretty sure you just take this guy. Uh, ooh, Him the Wilds. Well, never mind. Uh... This card's very powerful, although you can't cast instant or sorceries. The first creature you cast each turn is one less to cast. So two drop on turn one, three, you know, all that stuff. But this guy's good, too, because you become the Monarch. It's a 4-4 four, four for 5 in blue, which is just crazy. And it's being of your upkeep. If you're the Monarch, creatures you control can't be blocked. So that's actually pretty tough. Uh, if it's pack one, pick one, I'll probably take him, just because you can draft around and just get all creatures. and Sweet, they're all cheaper. Awesome. But if it's not pack one, I'm pr and I'm anything that can play blue, I'm probably going to this guy. So, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I, I haven't talked to the guys I play EDH with if they want to put Monarch stuff in their, you know, as a part of the EDH now. Uh, plus side is you do get to play with the crown if you have one, so that's that's good. So anyway, her the burly, interesting. Labeled uh, operative. Mm, that's nasty. Uh, do, 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 do. Hexblade Gullum. Burn away. Good removal. Any devils. Still decent. Murfolk Looter. And, oh, butt crack Kami. Kami the Crescent Moon. With well, the Summoner's Bond. What is that one? Huh. That's pretty good. Pretty good. If you got like five of the same common, you can just chain them together but yeah um i'm probably if it's early on like i said i'd probably take this this card because you can really uh combo it up if you get two cards that really go well in your deck you just get to take them and it's a three two for three so it, it attacks and blocks with some pretty good creatures uh last pack eldritch moon come on anything sweet in foil Ooh, or liliana or Emrakul. Uh, Drag Under is the early front runner for this deck. So, yep. Uh, I like Drag Under a little better than Spontaneous Mutation. Been a reason good. Ooh, News Constrictor, new winner. And the rare is a Harmless Offering. You go away. Grizzled Angler. Ooh, full Terrarian. Does not much, but, uh, you know, Delirium is a thing and it draws a card. So, I don't know if it ever sees any play in standard, but it's, it's all right in draft. So, yeah, probably going straight News Constrictor. And Harmless Offering, I know that's the deck for like another week, but meh, no. The card, I, every time I draft this card, I never get any colorless creatures. Like, they just don't get past any. So, anyway, just going News Constrictor, card's very strong. Uh, just messes up a lot of strategies. Being kind of flyers or just beat down, like they can't attack into it very profitably. Profitably, yes. Anyway, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, the packs were okay, meh. Um... Yeah, I'm really happy about these pickups here for the cube. I'm going to sleeve them up and try them out the next time we get to draft. But uh, I should have a dredge deck tech up by the time you see this. Um, I don't know. Deck's a lot of fun. Check that out if you like dredge. Uh, going to try to have some more modern decks put together soon. Trying to get a few for like a, a, a gauntlet type where I can have four or five decks to uh, play with other people or just swap back and forth to, uh, to practice with. But uh, anyway, hope you're having a good week, and thanks for watching.